LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ATS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The nine takes our sixty Starlink satellites into orbit. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. We're about 25 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Got some really cool footage of Falcon 9 right now. Stage separation confirmed. Oh, 
All right, we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, and uh, our second stage engine is now up on power on the right hand side of the screen. Again, on the left hand side of the screen is our first stage. It's going to make its way back to Earth to attempt landing for the sixth time on our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Next event coming up is fairing deploy. It should happen just a few seconds from now. Fairing separation confirmed. And off goes those fairing halves, and now exposing the 60 Starlink satellites to space. As a reminder, we will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today uh, using our recovery ships Miss Tree and Miss Chief. Uh, we'll make the call about two minutes before they land, depending on the weather and the sea states. Uh, we're just over T plus four minutes to flight, and as the second stage heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit, the first stage will execute two burns in order to make its way back towards Earth. The first stage is what you see on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, the first is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. The first burn, the entry burn, should happen around the T plus six minute and 20 second mark, while the second burn uh, will happen around the T plus eight minute mark. You can also see that our hypersonic grid fins have deployed on the first stage. Those are the honeycomb-like structures that you see on screen. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. They help to guide and steer the first stage back during descent. Now, the satellites on the second stage, um, we're sending 60 more up there to join the existed the existing 750, so after today's mission, we'll have 800 Starlink satellites up there. The satellites will stay powered down until after stage separation, uh, until after they separate from the second stage. You might be able to see some periodic bursts of gas from the first stage. That is nitrogen gas from our attitude control systems. Those help to orient the rocket as it continues to fall back towards Earth. And we're just about 20 seconds away from the first of two burns, first stage entry burn. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. Three Merlin engines have relit and are now slowing the first stage down before they hit the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. I have a few more seconds left on this burn. Stage one entry burn shutdown. All right, the second burn will be happening about 90 seconds from now. Everything's looking great on our second stage. The view is of the Merlin vacuum engine and its thrust cone. Uh, that engine can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in a vacuum. We're about 30 seconds away from the beginning of our second and final burn. Um, during this burn, the four landing legs stage stowed at the on. base of the first stage will also deploy right before we land. This final burn should last about 22 seconds. Let's see if we can uh, 
land this first stage for the sixth time. Stage one landing burn. Terminal guidance. There's a few of our drone ships. And right down the middle, Falcon 9 has landed. Uh, this particular booster has landed for the sixth time. This marks our 62nd successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. And the 32nd time we've landed on this particular drone ship, uh, of course, I still love you. Great way to start off a Sunday. So now for the second stage, we're waiting for second engine cutoff before entering a coast phase. Eco expect confirmed. Expect a loss of signal, Cape. And we did see that we had second engine cutoff. Welcome back once again to the webcast for Starlink Mission 14. Uh, we're just past the T-plus one hour mark and coming up on the deployment of our 60 Starlink satellites. Thus far, we've seen successful liftoff, stage separation, first stage recovery on our drone ship, and two successful second engine starts. Uh, the second stage has been spinning along its central axis, giving the Starlink satellites the momentum they need to space themselves out after they deploy. Each of these satellites weighs approximately 260 kilograms and features a compact flat panel design that minimizes volume, allowing for a dense launch stack to take full advantage of Falcon 9's launch capabilities. Starlink satellites are also equipped with efficient ion thrusters powered by Krypton that enable the satellites to orbit raise, maneuver in space, and deorbit at the end of their useful life. Starlink is, in fact, the first Krypton-propelled spacecraft ever flown. And we're just a few seconds away from payload deploy, so let's listen in for the call out of payload deploy. Starlink deploy confirmed. And now you can see on screen these satellites are slowly separating from the second stage. Uh, shortly they will deploy their solar arrays and over the next few weeks distance themselves from one another and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way back to their make their way to their operational orbit. Uh, that's a very cool shot. A uh, quick update on fairing catches. It looks like we had a good catch on both fairing halves, but the corner of the net on Mistree didn't hold up and gave way. Uh, we didn't have any impacts to the recovery team personnel, uh, so we'll bring them back uh, and see if we can use them on a future flight. And with that, we'll be bringing our webcast to a close. Thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. Again, if you are interested in getting future news about our Starlink service, head on over to starlink.com and sign up for updates. Um, thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of the Sunday, everyone.